Howdy, Immortalium here. Today I'm entering Walking Zero Zero Dead's anime contest. Um, you know, there's uh, two questions that I have to answer in this video. Basically, first of all, what is my favorite anime slash manga of all time? And secondly, what is my favorite anime slash manga character of all time? So I thought I'd, you know, answer it. I'm interested in the mystery box um, because I have everything else that you're offering. Um, so yeah, let's get started. First of all, my favorite well, I'm going with the anime categories because it's a little easier to deal with right now, you know, etc, etc. So, what is my favorite anime of all time? Well, if you've seen my top five animes video, you'll know that my number one anime of all time is Puala Magi Medical Magica. So, first of all, I'll, I'll, like, I'll explain more why I like it. So, first of all, what is Puala Magi Medical Magica? Well, it's a magical girl show, in case you can't guess from the cover. Uh, but it's a really dark magical girl show, you know, this is kind of, basically tons of people have compared this to Neon Genesis Evangelion, saying that this does to magical girls what Neon Genesis Evangelion did to Mecha. That isn't necessarily why I'm interested in it. You see, when I watched this, um, the only magical girl show that I had experienced up to that point was the, you know, Card Captors 4 Kids dub or whatever which, you know, of course, wouldn't give me, you know, too much insight into the magical girl genre. So uh, I came into this not knowing practically anything about the magical girl genre. And I still love the hell out of it. Why? Because it has amazing characters, it has amazing animation, it has amazing story, it has amazing soundtrack. But I'll get more into that. So what is the plot? The plot is, there's this girl, um, okay, there's this girl called Marka. He was the pink haired one on the cover. And basically she has a dream at the beginning, a, a kind of a, like an apocalyptic end of the world dream. She wakes up and we're introduced to her, you know, her family, her friends, etc, etc. It's all going good, you know. But there's this mysterious, uh, you know, transfer student who comes into her class. And, yeah, and base, it's, like, it's a mystery, you know, who is Homura, um, etc, etc. And then they come across QB, who is the... Um, the little white fella there and basically it um, snowballs from there and um, there's so many plot twists in the story um, the story itself is utterly amazing uh, even if you're not aware of like the cliches and the tropes of the genre it is just simply an amazing story but you know plot twist after plot twist that just changes your entire perception of the show with pa each passing episode um, when, like, the only other series I can actually think of that's even like that is Attack on Titan. And, you know, Attack on Titan hasn't been out for that long. So, you know, I, it's not going to get into my top five anime or manga for the moment. But let's continue on. Uh, next is the characters. Uh, the characters, you know, they're all young girls and, you know, a lot of people can find that annoying. But you actually really get to know each of these characters. You get to know, like, you know, their motivations for becoming magical girls, you know, their wishes for becoming magical girls. They're just insanely well-developed characters, even if it's only a 12-episode series. That's the other thing to say. This is a short series, and they pack so much into each episode. Um, so the characters are just amazing. You know, everyone has their own favorites. And my personal favorite is Homura. But, um, you know, it's just um, amazing characters. The animation in this series is just incredible. First of all, you know, you have really appealing, you know, character designs, you know, beautiful looking backgrounds and all that during the normal sequences. But that isn't what makes this series. Well, you see, the whole purpose of becoming magical girls is to fight these beings called witches. And each time you they enter a witch's world, the whole world, like, of the witches is actually animated through some kind of, like, more obscure animation technique. Like, for example, I'll give you an example. First world that they enter is kind of like, um, it kind of reminded me of like a South Park animation or a like a Monty Python animation. Kind of like, um, to, you know, 2D kind of cutouts of paper and just kind of animated through that way. Um, the next world that they entered um, is kind of like it's animated without being bound in by the black lines that are around it. So like the characters going all squiggly and moving about and all that jazz. 
uh, it's just um, and, and like another world crayon kind of drawings. It's just insanely beautiful to behold. And this is a series that if you can get on Blu-ray, really benefits from the Blu-ray. Finally, the music. The music in this series is just amazing. Seriously, I can actually listen to the soundtrack over and over again and never be bored of it. And it's not even just kind of an association with the show. It helps that if you can associate with the show, but I'm sure if you showed, you know, Magia, which is my personal favourite piece, it's actually the ending from episode 3 on for a while, but it's just insanely amazing music and I can just listen to the soundtrack, you know, on and on. Uh, which is which is why I'm kind of sad that we didn't get the soundtrack over here like they did in America. But you know, considering that in America you have to pay like seventy bucks for four episodes, whereas over here it's just like twenty five pounds for the complete series on Blu-ray. It's just way better value here, and I would definitely recommend that you get this. My number one anime of all time. Now, my favorite anime character of all time. Uh, this is quite interesting now. It, I had a lot of difficulty with this. For a while I was actually considering Homura from Paula Magi Medical Magica, but in the end I decided to go with another character. Now, I noticed Walking Zero Zero Dead in your video that there's a lot of people in their comments, you know, they're saying, you know, like, if their favourite series is Death Note, then it's going to be a character from Death Note. If it's if their favourite series is Full Metal Alchemist, then their favourite character is from Full Metal Alchemist, etc, etc. So, I'm not sure how unusual I am in that uh, my favourite show doesn't actually contain my favourite character, but that's just the way it worked out. My favourite anime character of all time is Lelouch from Kogias. Basically, first of all, one thing that benefits uh, you know Lelouch's development over any of the characters from Polar Magic Medical Magica is that Kogias is a 50 episodes long, so you get way more development for Lelouch. And next, for my favourite character of all time, he is just one of the most deep characters that I've ever come across. First of all, far more appealing than, say, like Yagami, in that his reason for trying to change the world is in order to make it better for his sister. The intelligence that he shows using his Gias um, in order to manipulate everything, it's amazing. But what I love even more than that is how he develops over the series. He starts out kind of naive. You know, uh, he wants to change the world for his sister, but he has this kind of naive outlook to the world. You know, he can use people without giving a second thought. He believes that what he's doing is pure right, you know, is pure correct. Uh, but as the series progresses, he, he steadily starts to get doubts. He starts to connect with people. He gets traumatized by things he does, by things people do to him. And But every single turn is believable, you know. This character is just amazing in his, you know, in the levels of death that he can reach. Where, like, if he, if he becomes desperate and sad and depressed, you, you know, you're right there with him. If he gets angry and furious, you know, you're standing right beside him. You know, just, you know, saying, "Go on, get, get Britannia, destroy Britannia." Relationship with other characters, deep, you know, it has, you know, it's a different relationship for each character, uh, but it's completely believable, whether he hates a person, loves a person, you know, respects a person, it's just amazing, and then uh, it's his character development, completely believable, but quite drastic at points, like the Lelouch that is in episode 1 of Kogias is so different to the Lelouch in episode 50, and yet, you know, it, it's just as likeable and lovable a character as in episode one, in my opinion. And, and of course, the character design for him is also fantastic. It's, um, he, he was designed by Clamp, which, you know, made Kaikata Sakura, Chobits, etc., etc., uh, which, of course, gives him a fantastic kind of visual look, you know, kind of a elongated look, but really detailed. Uh, beautiful looking hair and eyes and etc etc so he's fantastic to look at he is an amazing character in you know development etc etc and that is why he's my number one anime character of all time sorry if it annoys anyone that my favorite character is from a series other than my favorite series but while I believe Pula Magic Medical Magica is better than Kogius overall I don't think any of the characters reach the, you know the depths or the, you know, kind of awesomeness that Lelouch does. 
and that's why it's always an insane pleasure when I go to like a con that there's always someone walking around dressed up as Zero because you know he's that awesome a character and it's just such an awesome cosplay as well to see so hopefully you enjoyed my video hopefully you thought um, that I explained it well enough you know hopefully my reasons sound logical uh, hopefully I'll win the prize <laughs> So, in just in case, uh, I you know I have to say it at the end of the thing. I'm going for that mystery box with the manga or anime or whatever you're gonna put into it. Walking Zero Zero Dead. Uh, so thank you for you know giving me the opportunity to enter into your contest. Hopefully, um, you know it'll make people more aware of my videos as well. So thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and bye bye.